Who's from Imperial, Pennsylvania, going for West Virginia against another freshman that's had a good year, Trace Ragland, coming in at 12 and 10 on the campaign. Well, Ty Waters is is the man on top, man. He gets a takedown, gets on top. He's had a lot of success in turning people and ended matches early, even early in his career, right? You do not want to let him get that half in there. Now he's just gonna, looks like he's gonna let him up, take him down again. One point here on the to your point, Tony, about aggressiveness with the scoring change, with the three point for the takedown, that's rewarded more now than it would have been in the past. Well, I mean, I like the changes that they've made. I, I like the change they made last year with the near fall stuff and this year to actually enhance it a little bit more to go from a three, the, the three point takedown and then near fall that equals the, the number of swipes that you have, two, three, and four. So it's really rewarding people to score which I think is always a good idea, right? Reward people who are scoring. And and, and as, a, as a result of that, over the last couple of years, the sport has really opened up and you see a lot more just opportunities and people doing some things that, uh, that are pretty pretty wild and pretty impressive. Some work plan from Waters there. Take him down, let him up, try and get a little bit of a swipe on the way up, and then go back to work. Well, I think one of the things he's got to watch is what he did just right there just a second ago is, and that's what, where he had some challenges uh, in the match against Oklahoma is he's long and he's and sometimes he takes that shot out from a little bit too far. He's probably used to getting there most of the time, especially through high school, but he's not going to get there as many times in college. And unfortunately, for some guys who are real quick, especially laterally, you put yourself at a little disadvantage. 9-2 now. You know, and it almost looks like he's been, he's in this particular match, wanting to work a little bit on his feet a little bit more because even when he gets on top and when he rides that high half, he's been turning and pinning most people and he hasn't even attempted to do it yet. So again, we, and there's one thing that Coach Flynn had mentioned in his conversation about, you know, you got guys working on things. They're working on getting better in certain areas and you're trying to get as many matches in as you can and some match time in to not only do it at practice, right, but you got to, you got to, translate that into live matches at some point in time and the confidence that you have to be able to get in positions and work your way through them. Well, and every match left in the Big 12 is going to be against a ranked opponent team-wise, so you know you're going to see some, some quality rushers where you, you can't make mistakes and you have to be efficient. You have to be efficient. I mean, that's, the, that's what the... I guess that's what happens at the top of everything, right? I mean, you have to be efficient and effective in a number of different ways, and there's a little bit of a body lock and three-point takedown, about 40 seconds left of the period. This period has to have seemed like it's lasted forever for Trace Ragland. Well, it might not last much longer because this time Waters put the half in, sunk it, got the roll through that he likes and likes this position. And uh, a lot of guys don't get out of that after he's got him clamped there pretty well. He's not probably exactly where we'd like to be, but he's got plenty of time on the clock. He's, he's, he's kind of high and turned a little bit slightly, and then he's going to get four points out of that. He's going to make it a 13-point lead, ending the first period. Minute 44 of riding time as well. So here's the, like, like that half. He likes to pull him backwards and then beats him over to the corner and jumps on that other side. Now, he's not as settled as he wants to be. His hip's a little out of position which is why he probably doesn't get the fall there, but here is the, that half again, riding at this time. And we're gonna roll through in a different way. And one of the things, you know, you, if you're a parent and your kid is pulling the guy back or you're a coach and you're not used to it, it can try to drive you nuts because you, you're not sure that he's in a good position there, but man, when you do that a lot, oh, that's, that's, see, this one's a little bit tighter. When you do that a lot, you get used to that, and man, you love being in those places, and Ty Waters very good in those positions. His third straight win by fall for West Virginia. Two on the road in Colorado, and now tonight in front of his home fans. West Virginia dominating this match. Three pins out of four.